Hello everyone. It has been a long time since I made a video uh, because honestly I went through some changes and just, um, you know, throughout the summer there was just a lot of differences going on and um, in my life and I was trying to find a balance and I didn't really want to make content when I was going through such a transition, but I guess that's okay because it's real, right? It's like, that's what we do. And I apologize, it's late, I've been exercising. I just, I wanna come off like on here as real. So I'm holding the camera. <laughs> I should have a stand, but I'd have to go and, you know, anyway, get a few things and just, I don't have the space right now to put it in the room that I normally video, so we're here, um, and hopefully that's okay. But yeah, there's been a lot of changes. I actually altered my diet, if you wanna call it, I don't like to use the word diet, but my eating lifestyle um, as, you know, I just incorporated some other things into it, animal products, and I've um, just been trying to figure out how I feel on that. And actually I felt better in certain ways. I just, I have to find the balance. I have to find, like usually I'm like really extreme sometimes when I transition from something to another and I'll just go the whole way and almost overdo it. So I don't wanna do that in this case because you know, animal products can be a little bit congested and, the word congesting whatever that uh, tense is congested mucus forming in other words <laughs> and so um, yeah I just I've been trying to find that balance because I kind of was really craving tuna my body was just like I want tuna I want tuna and I was like what why <laughs> um, and I was doing like mostly raw and a lot of that, which is fine, but I'm a big, I'm a big, you know, listen to your body, intuit things, and I felt like I really, really, my body really, really wanted tuna, so I thought, I'm gonna try tuna, see how it goes, so I was like, oh, tuna is usually mercury, so I, I looked up a good source that supposedly tests their mercury levels, and chip, went with that brand, and I was just like, oh my gosh, my body, I felt like I was eating it up, if that, that just absorbing it, like, like my body's like, yes, thank you. And so I did that for a while. And then of course, you know, here I go overdoing it. And then I started to get constipated. And then I thought, well, I probably need more balance here. We need to like incorporate more vegetables, more fiber, you know? So that's where we're at right now is just like trying to find that balance between, um, fish and some eggs and um you know still doing I'm trying to do like the good and of all of it and I'm sorry if that offends some of you but I'm just not a very dogmatic person I'm like whatever works for you what is fine with me I'm not gonna say a word as long as it works for you and um so that's you know I hope you'll offer extend that same respect to me I think it's really important that we just don't shame each other for experimenting and listening to our bodies as best as we know how. So that's where it's at. And I'm actually also getting ready to do a 26 day Green Smoothie Girl cleanse that's coming up. If you're familiar with Green Smoothie Girl, she's, um, I think she's mostly vegan. Um, I think she might do a couple animal products, but she was at least mostly vegan at one point, and I think she might do some bone broth here and there. So I guess that would say no, she's not. But um, yeah, she overall does mostly vegetables, fruits, things like that. And I still really respect and I still admire and I still take the good from the raw community, the good from the vegans, the good from, you know, the other sources so I just kind of take it all and see what works and then you know listen internally as well and see how it feels I experiment quite a bit with things and um yeah so I'm gonna do her 
cleanse coming up and it's gonna be really great because I just I feel like I feel like that's the next step you know just to kind of cleanse it's a deep cleanse um, and it's it's a smart cleanse it's just that's what I really like about it it's a um, it's been done before for uh, several years now and it's like a group thing so um, I thought I would offer it to you guys and tell you about it and since it's the new year's coming up it's a great time you know to kind of reset and it goes through the all the different organs like the um, the liver the gallbladder the lymphatic system it just has all these parts there's like four levels and you just go through these different ways of doing things for the purpose of cleaning house so to speak and the cell at the cellular level and just really thorough, but yet gentle. There's two, um, what do you call it? No, it's two levels. No, phase one and phase two, and then, yeah, two phases. I think if I've got that correct. Phase one is the um, more gentler, easier way into it cleanse, and then phase two is more intensive, like mostly, um, I think, greens and then juices. So, yeah, but you can interchange them if you're feeling like one is too intense. You can kind of back up to level one. If you feel like you, you can go a little deeper, go to level two. So it's really cool so that you can just kind of, you know, cater it to your needs. And uh, yeah, so I thought I would include the link. I'll include it in this video. You can find it. And um, yeah, so just check it out if that sounds like something you'd like to do. And I'd love to see you in there. Let me know if you decide to do it because it's fun to support each other. And I've done a nine day cleanse with them before and it was so much fun because, you know, you had all the support and interaction. If you had any questions, you could just be like, you know, ask and they get right back to you. Um, and yeah, I, I felt super good. I felt super peaceful on, on day, by day eight. I was just like, I had this, the peace that passes all understanding, if that makes any sense. I was just like, what? I just felt like, I felt like I tapped into the presence of God or something. I don't know. And maybe that was just a coincidence that God was just like trying to hang out with me that day. But I really felt calm and just super like peaceful, like in, in inside out. So anyway, um, I'm excited about the 26th. It's a little more extended. So yeah, the support's great. And uh, I'd love to see you in there. It'd be fun. Let me know if I can support you. If you have any questions, I'll answer it for you, but as best as I know. But yeah, so I thought I would just reach out to you guys and um, offer that because I'm doing that on my Facebook and I'm doing it on my Instagram page. And I thought, well, shoot, I'll just put it on here too. Why not? And I hadn't made a video in a while. I wanted to say hi. And um, sorry, but it's been a while. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, where are you? What, what happened to your whole vision of all this stuff I still want to do it I just think I need to be a little more realistic with it and just I just want to be real you know show up as a very genuine person so thanks for listening guys and thanks for just accepting me as I am as calm as I am <laughs> and I will see you whenever the next video arrives I might document the smoothie thing here and there so that might be something fun to do for you all right take care bye